the way, how cute is this little necklace? So cute! So I literally never know how to start off these things, but hello! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hey, welcome. So I did a thing. I have touched a sewing machine for the first time since grade eight home economics, and it turned out actually not bad. Like, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Like, it was a little bit of a challenge, <laughs> let me just tell you that. Like, yeah, it was a process just learning how to kind of do everything, but, it came to good use and I think definitely sewing is a good trait to know because then you can just do cool stuff with clothes and just make everything fun and so yeah so I've been seeing this top kind of I'm just like grabbing my boobs <laughs> I've been seeing this top circulate on Instagram and I thought it would be a pretty easy project to start with because I've been wanting to kind of develop my skills so I thought why not recreate this top it looks pretty simple but at the same time it's super cute but I had the sewing machine and I had like all the technical stuff like that so I literally only spent 15 bucks on getting the material and like the little ring and things like that this is literally the fruit of my labor and you guys will get to see like the whole process behind it and basically this video is like my trial and error and you guys can do everything right watching me um kind of mess up a little bit but it turned out all right so your girl did good um there you go so yeah just stay in tune and keep watching if you want to learn how to recreate this top like i and yeah okay so i have my fabric here i also have my little pins the fabric pencil that i'm going to use to mark um my stencil and basically like one of my bralettes that I'm going to use to figure out what size I want for one of the pieces of the top. And you want to make sure that the fabric is being laid down with the inside facing you. Mark where the bra kind of sits on the fabric. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but now I have like a general shape and size of how big I want my top pieces to be for the top. When you cut it out, you just wanna make sure that you're giving yourself enough space to finish off the fabric. I feel like weird that you guys aren't looking at my face. Hello. Everything's kind of been going well so far. Literally have made like one out of like the three million pieces. Well no, it's actually like it's actually a pretty simple top. But now I think what I need to worry about is how thick I want the bottom piece to be. Um if it's gonna fit me like that. It's about that big. So I'm just gonna mark that. Guys, I already f***ed up. I don't want to cut too near the lines because remember you want space, you want to leave an inch so you're able to have some room. Once you get to the end again, you just want to cut at an angle. Because I needed more room, I think what I'm going to do is just leave it at that. Like I think I'm just going to leave this where it is and not even cut the other side because I cut this one too close to the line and I want enough room in order to take these parts in or sew it to the other and still have um, the width that I want for the top. Now we're just going to do the same thing with this as we did for the other piece and we're just going to pin it and then cut it out. So when we want to actually sew the pieces, we want to make sure that the piece we want showing is on the inside of the two fabrics. Um, of course, this is for if you're doing the lining. Um, if not, then you want to just kind of sew as neat as you can like this 
just to finish off the edges on one of the like your main piece of fabric that way when we sew alongside of the edges we can then flip it and that way hide all of the sewing that we've done so that it's inside of the fabric and not visible <laughs> my little sister's here and i think she got scared by the sewing machine <laughs> That's so funny. I cut a little bit more than I needed from the actual piece because I am a beginner, so I'm not the great, the greatest at like accuracy. So I like to leave a little bit of space in case I want to make it a little bit smaller or you know, if I made a mistake, then I have to kind of fix it. It's easier for me to do that when I have extra fabric to work with. <laughs> oh, it's a sewing machine. You just put your foot here on the pedal. And you just go like this. See? It's nothing to be scared of. Oh, shoot. What is up? So I am back. I went ahead and bought some oil for the sewing machine because it really needed it because it was so long since the last time we'd used it and I went ahead and made the two top pieces um, I've left the bottoms unsewn because when we attach the lower piece it's not really gonna matter um, and I think I'm going to scrunch this up but I'm not sure um, I really won't know until I start sewing things and by the way this is the little ring piece that I'm gonna use for the middle so this is gonna fall a little bit more separated and this is gonna fall right in between there or somewhere around here I'm kind of scared because I feel like if I scrunch this up it's gonna leave me very little boob space but to be honest I don't think I need much so um, I don't know I guess we'll see how this all goes once I start sewing everything together but for now what I'm gonna do is like I have I've made the little bottom pieces I've made two and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in the back. I've decided to tie it in the back. And so I'm just going to sew these pieces the same way I did with um, this piece here. Oh, why is it like that? I literally don't know what I'm doing like at all. I guess I don't know I have no idea why there's like a bajillion strings when it came to this portion actually I didn't go where I drew the blue lines I actually went um, maybe about an inch and a half further from that but when it comes to this one because it's so close to the edge I am gonna try to stick to the blue lines Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, I cut this end straight and then I just left it open. Okay, so one of mine actually ended up being a little thicker than the other when it comes to width. And this one's the thicker one, so I'm gonna put that aside. And then what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to sew just maybe like a centimeter or like a couple millimeters from where I sew, sew last, sewed last, and then just stitch rip the sew that I made previously, so like this one here, just so that it can be a little bit thicker because I do have the space for it. I'm going to sew it bigger first and then stitch rip. So as you guys can see, I've done the two stitches. This is the original and then that's the one that I made just now. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch rip this one, the original one here. Um, I've done the same for the other side. You can't really tell though because, um, because it's white. So update, it literally feels like I've been doing this for an hour and <laughs> I'm just finishing one side. Literally like, what is this? So I'm finally done. And that took so much longer than it needed to. Holy crap. Um, I am done like all, with all of the pieces. And so now it comes time to putting them together. What I have to do is on the portion that kind of opens up on the long strip, I have to make yet again another stitch rip just along um, this time only to the parts where I want to attach the little like bra piece too. I guess you'll be able to better see what I'm talking about uh, 
when I show you. So let's get to that. I want to leave maybe five inches of space between where the bralette is going to be and where the ring is going to take it. Maybe that's too much. Maybe let's do four inches. I need to get my together. Just because like I want to give myself enough room for in case I fuck up, which let's be real will most likely happen. Honestly, I have so much space. Let's just do nine, nine inches off each one. So I've taken the measurement and marked where it ends at nine inches. And so now what I'm gonna do is take the bralette and line it up with the mark that I just made and then also line up where it ends. I And then so yeah, just make sure to do the same thing for your other fabric. Okay, I didn't entirely think this one through because now how am I gonna take out the pins? So basically I didn't even need to flip it to pin it because you just wanna make sure that on the bralette the lining is facing the lining and the good side of the bralette is facing the good side on the inside of this. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all right now. Pin the bralette to the two pieces that you just stitch ripped apart and just create a connection between the two pieces that you've made. I'm thinking I left a little bit too much space in the front, um, but it's okay. It's better to be safe than sorry, and it's still gonna wrap around. This is actually looking pretty nice. By the way, can we just take in that I have literally all over my hair? So now we're just gonna do the same thing to the other side. I feel like this is a weird angle, but like it's as good as it's gonna get. I have made lay pieces. Okay, so I have both my pieces right here. So what I'm gonna do now is, where is the little ring? I'm gonna take the ring and I'm gonna put a ring on it because I don't need no man. I think I want it to end here. Maybe? No, I feel like that would be way too much space between my boobs. That is way too far apart. I need to like bring it in more, like a lot more. I just realized that I probably should have added the strings to this before sewing it onto this piece. Boo! Bees. <laughs> okay, so I've readjusted it and I think this looks a lot better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sew that. How am I running out of charge right now? Like, what the f <gasps> Holy f Okay, I could have lost an eye. But I'm right now, like I'm really scared because I think my mom's actually gonna kill me because I broke the needle on this thing. Guys, I am actually an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> is this replaceable? Like is this even replaceable? <gasps> oh my god. I'm, I'm literally gonna have a panic, panic attack right now. <gasps> what the f <gasps> Guys, I legit broke this thing. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> All right, so I am on day three of working on this thing, and basically what I have left are these strings to both make them, which I've already made one. I'm gonna show you guys how I inverted this spaghetti strap because it actually took me a good while to figure out how. And then um, I just have to attach both of them onto the top and then sew around the other part of the ring, which I'm sca still scared to do because I literally don't wanna lose an eye, but you know, that'll be the last thing and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there, but um, yeah, basically for this, the string, I made just like this very long string and one end of it is uh, just left open and then I did sew the other end. So basically what I'm going to do, um, I, little, I found, I found like this little like, um, I want to call it a stick, I don't know, and basically I put it. I actually saw this on a YouTube video, so if you guys want like a better 
explanation. You can definitely just search up how to invert sp spaghetti straps, but I can't do it right now, but basically that's how I did it. And I got this, which is the top portion and the ends are all closed. And then so now I just have to, I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of displaying this, but I basically just have to sew it here. And I really wish that I would have um, maybe stitch ripped the top of the top piece so that I would have been able to um, sew this on the inside of the top piece, but I didn't do that. So I think what I'm gonna do is zigzag stitches around the parameter of where the string and the top meet. So yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do to finish this off. All right, everybody, that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up or leave a comment below. I would love that. And yeah, that's it for the video. I'm off. Goodbye. Hey. Okay. I'm, I'm literally so awkward. Like, I don't even. Goodbye. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that, Melly? <laughs> Say hi. If you enjoyed this video, or oh! I think I broke my pee pee. I'm gonna add that in. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't. I'm yeah. gonna add that in. Oh, Close the door. Yeah.